Next, uh, we will do the simulation of uh, shift register and counters. So today I am going to teach you the shift register implementation uh, using multisim. So if you see the textbook, I am going to simulate the same circuit which is given in the test book. So this is actually the four stage shift register using JK flip flops. Okay. Uh, we can also implement using D flip flops also. So anyone you can use. So first let me uh, implement the same circuit and we'll verify whether we are getting the, these outputs or not. Okay. So JK flip flops are used uh, between J and K or NOT gate is used and four outputs are taken from uh, here QA, QB, QC and QD. And there is a reset signal by giving uh, zero here actually going to clear if it is active low. If it is active high, then if you give one, it is going to clear. And uh, all the flip-flops are connected to the common clock. So these are the clock signal. First signal is a clock signal. And here the data, if you give one, so after when the data is going down here, after the first clock pulse, the first flip-flop will go. In the next clock cycle, the data will shift to second. So QB becomes one. In the next third clock pulse, Okay, here uh, QC will going to go up and in the fourth clock pulse again it will go up. Again at the same time if you make uh, this data as low, after each clock cycle whatever data is there that data will go to here and this uh, QA will come to QB position and QB will come to QC position so that uh, the data is going to shift uh, serially here for every clock pulse the data actually shifts right side. So this is the one sample. Uh, we had given only one data that is a uh, one and that one has shifted uh, for every one on clock cycle the data is shifted so that i am going to implement now so uh, i have taken uh, three uh, flip flops so i told how to place the component place component uh, then uh, go to all groups and all families click on all families all group and all families your type jk you will get jk so click ok uh, so three times you have to click here one more stage if you want you can put here why i am taking only three is i want to show clock also and uh, three outputs okay uh, that's why i have taken only three flip flops here if you want you can include one more flip flop here uh, in the four channel oscilloscope you can see only these four channel outputs qa qb q security and clock you have to use another uh, oscilloscope separate oscilloscope you have to place so here uh, i am placed only three flip flops okay so QA, QB, QC or you can tell Q2, Q1, Q0 uh, and uh, the circuit diagram is same as uh, how we did here. Okay. So now uh, actually NOT gate is there here also NOT gate used and all the clock inputs are connected to the common clock here. So uh, here NOT gate, how to pick the NOT gate. So go to place component. Then you type all groups, all families, you type NOT not here. Then you are going to get not gate. See, this is the not gate. Click OK and place here. And if you want to rotate vertically, control R button you have to place. So this is the uh, digital interactive input. Okay. This is the digital input, uh, interactive input. Uh, between J and K, NOT gate is used and Q is directly connected to the J. Again, this Q is directly connected to the J. It is like uh, same here. Q is shorted to J, Q is shorted to J, Q is shorted to J. Actually, three only I am showing. Fourth is optional. If you want, you can include that also. One more stage. And all the clock inputs are connected to the common clock. This is uh, input you have to select uh, place component digital clock. All groups, all families type here digital clock you will get that so this is a digital clock click ok and uh, set the uh, double click on it and uh, you can adjust the frequency to uh, 10 hertz so if you keep 1000 hertz and all uh, it actually the data will shift with uh, one millisecond speed so instead of that if i select uh, 10 hertz 
point 0.1 second it is going to shift so you can uh, observe neatly okay so circuit diagram connections are like this so now uh, probes are in included to see the outputs here so right uh, place component all groups all families you select type probe you select uh, probe with red color so three probes are there to see the three outputs and if you want to see the output in a oscilloscope also uh, go to place component uh, four channel oscilloscope so four channel oscilloscope you place here and d is connected to the clock and after that uh, you can connect uh, uh, a to this one then uh, second one you can connect uh, here at the q okay so <coughs> you can select different colors okay so i selected uh, orange color for the first one if it is not there in the first time you can select and click okay okay so similarly for the second one i place a green color and for the third one i i put uh, this uh, green color so uh, in your case you have to first time when you are doing double click and uh, click on this and uh, select any suitable color and click ok ok now it is already all the colors are given now if i run this ok you can see the shift data these are the data serially you have to enter ok this is a serially you have to enter so key is space if you, if you can press space bar or you can click here using mouse uh, using a mouse click you can change the values ok so now I am clicking here, I am running the interactive, see here, initially it is zero, for every uh, 0.1 second the data are shifting here, actually the data are shifting, since zero is there, you cannot see here, okay, so now if I change this one to one, the data will shift, for example, if you can see now, I will going to change this one to one, okay, every 0.1 second it will move, so, Next, it will shift to next also. Next, again, it will shift to third one. So, data are actually here, it is kept constant only. So, every time one will be coming to here. Next, this one will be coming to here. This one will come to here. So, now I will change this one to zero. Okay. See here, this will change first. Okay, that one will come to here, this one will come to here. Next, one more zero will come to here. The previous zero will shift to here. And previous one, now, after some time second, all are zero only. Because every time, if I change this, again, it will change. One, again, next clock cycle, it will shift to here. The new one will come to here. Again, next clock pulse, this will come to here, this will come to here. New one will come to here. So now, zero. So I will change one year now immediately. I will change this one. I will change this one to one. See one zero one zero. If I want to transfer, see zero now. Again, I will change it to one. So this is how you are entering uh, serial data. So those data are actually sharing. See now I am not touching anything. By default, one is there here this one is continuously coming you can also see that output here you can see how the data are moved so uh, let me clear this and i will show once again so four channels uh, you have to adjust the offset channel a is connected to what channel a is connected to uh, this q naught q a and channel B is connected to QB or Q1 and channel C is connected to this one and D is connected to the clock D is connected to the clock so now you can see all are actually coming 111 only because it is 1 or you can change this to 0 so that you can see first this will go 0 after next clock pulse this will go 0 
then if clock pulse this will come zero okay so and this will remain zero 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 only again if i make uh, this serial data as one okay then this will first it will shift so this will go to in the zero to one at the time this will go in the next year, zero to one this will go and next zero to one this will go up. so the data are shifting again i will make zero you can observe here this will go zero first in the next clock pulse this will go zero okay so now it is coming zero 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 so actually uh, previously that cycle is continuing if you want you can increase the division see now it's coming zero now so if you want to verify this output zero to one now in the first clock cycle this will go in next clock cycle this will one now. now you can observe that i will make one now first this will go high so i'll make one see this will go high see in the next clock cycle this will go high the next clock cycle this will go high next i this time so this also went to go so it will remain high only because i stopped here one so all are at one only you can see here all are at one 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 because i have not changed the data if you want to alternate data zeros and one zeros and ones here also the data will shift zero one zero one this data will shift to here this data will shift to here and new data which is coming from the data will come to here see here all are actually coming if you have one more flip flop here then one more uh, waveform you have to add, but you have to add uh, uh, one more oscilloscope because in this is a four channel oscilloscope, one is used to see the clock pulses. See here, I'm last time checking once again. I will make uh, data as zero. First, this data will go zero. Next, this will come to zero. It is from whenever input clock pulses change from zero to high, that time it will change. Again, if I change this to one, in the next clock pulse, it will go up. Okay, so offset you have to do the uh, offset. See, A is at the offset of 1.8, so this is at 1.8. Channel B is at 0.4, this one from zero to here it is 0.4 channel c which is offset of minus 1.2 so this one and channel d clock is at offset of minus 2.6 if you have all the offsets at zero the, the waveforms is going to uh, overlap so if you want to see one channel here one channel here one channel here one channel here within this space you have to adjust the offset so click on this and adjust the offset to suitable uh, values here you can see for example here only i will sh i will reduce the offset you can see it will go to origin position so if i increase to zero it will come like this okay so we have to use some suitable offset so that you can see all so this is about shift register you can also do using uh, d flip flop also so just i will show you uh, the d flip flop Mm, I think uh, yeah, this is a shift register using D flip flop. Here, flow four flip flops are used. So, if you run this, see here actually it is connected to one. One is connected to five volts. Instead of digital interactive, we used one switch here. We used one switch here. So same thing, instead of JK flip-flop, use D flip-flop. You can also use interactive digital switch also. So in this case, actually, if it is shorted, if it is closed, it is connected to logic one, five volts. If it is open, it is logic zero. See here, next clock pulse, it is shifted here. Next, it will shift it here. It will shift it here. Next, close this. This will shift it here. This will shift to here. You can also, here also, you can also add four channel oscilloscope and you can add uh, all these four outputs. Alternatively, you can make one and zero, one and zero.
every clock pulse see immediately if you want to make zero no then for example here uh, all are one 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 okay all are one 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 so what is the use of reset pin is if i make this reset one immediately this becomes zero see if reset is one even though it is connected to five volts all are coming zero because reset is high if reset is zero then this uh, one will shift here similarly uh, in jk flip flop also in jk shift registers also i think uh, yeah here it is not used if you want you can use you can connect all the reset pins to i think in the textbook logic zero is there no uh, i think it is active low so here if you want i will add uh, that button here you can see connect all the flip flops to one digital interactive so i will copy this so what you can do is directly instead of uh, go to place component you can just copy that component and place here so control r to shift okay now i will run this see one is coming so since this reset is one output is not coming see it is shift data is shifting now if i make uh, reset is equal to one immediately output becomes zero so this is the use of reset pin in uh, this one here it is active low If bubble is there means active low whenever you put send zero here the flip flops will clear but here it is active high so when you send one here uh, it will actually reset okay so when you make this as zero then the data one is there now here that will actually move 